we're going to pick up right where we left off in the last video with conditionals. And we, of course, looked at the if statement, and we had a set of code that was executed if the conditional was true. But now we want to create a block of code to be executed when the condition is false. And that is where the else statement comes into play. So the else works with the if statement. It's the block of code that gets executed if the condition turns out to be false. So all we do is write the keyword else here. And then we need a curly brace. And let's just go ahead and echo out the condition was false. And we'll just put that in right here. So if our statement turns out to be false, we will just put out a string that says the condition is false. Now we know from the last video this condition will turn out to be true because 6 does equal the value that's in our variable, which is 6. So let's go ahead and get rid of the equal sign now. And we know that this is now not true because this value here, 6, is not greater than 6, at least on this planet. So let's go ahead and save this. And if this works, PHP will not execute these statements because this block of code, again, only gets executed if it's true. It should skip down to our else and execute that statement. So let's go ahead and hit our lesson.php over here. And that's exactly what we got. The condition is false. Now, just to make sure things are working here, let's go ahead and add our equal sign back. And now our condition should test out to be true. So our first block of code should be executed. And again, it's always the first block of code that gets executed if the condition turns out to be true. So let's go ahead and refresh our page here. And it worked. So you can see this is pretty simple. And again, we're just handling two different outcomes a true outcome and a false outcome. Now we can actually add other outcomes and we'll talk about that in the next video. See you guys then.